remember that day. When the skies pounded the earth. Those of us who survived the cataclysm and were not mauled by the creatures fled into the metro. There, in the outer darkness of the tunnels, we found refuge. And we will fight for our future until we die. Hello YouTube, Ben B998 here, and this is Until We Die. Until We Die is a base defense strategy game where we have to survive 30 days within a alien infested subway. We're going to see how this goes. The game key was provided by the developer, so big thanks to them, and let's get right into it. Alright, so it's looking like we pick a character between Ivan and Anna. Um, let's pick, let's actually stick with uh, Ivan for now. Oh, and we get to pick like our starting point. But it looks like there's only one. Commander, we're approaching the station. Oh, and of course, everything's on fire. Fantastic. They help me out, get some scraps so I can fix the hand car. All right, so A and D to move. Oh, looks like we're going this way. Summon. Oh, and W to, oh. I see. So you don't do the stuff yourself. You have your little buddies do it for you. Oh, and we give that to him to fix that. Gar is back on the move, and I'll be back tomorrow with reinforcements. First of all, let's start the generator. Can I get all three of them on it? That looks like it's a two-man job. Generator started. We can set up our camp. Now we need to improve our defenses by building a wall. Alright, so we'll go over here. Apparently build a wall. Order to loot crates. Can I get all three of them on that? Yeah, I can. Awesome. Alright, I should probably get one of them on there at least. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna have them loot this and then I'm gonna get the wall built. You can assign people from your squad to walls by sending them to the flag. Engineers and dwellers are assigned to walls. We'll repair them when needed. Okay. Great safe behind the wall. Now let's make our shovel workshop. Okay. Oh, I need more um, scrap for that. So it's kind of looking like you can play this game with just one hand. Is right now I'm just using WASD. To be able to do all this. And then I... Occasionally escape to like skip cutscenes or skip dialogue. Or while they do that, let's get him to loot some of these boxes. Oh, or not. Apparently, we can't leave. For the workshop to start operating, you'll need to send a worker in there. Okay. Get him working on stuff. Oh, look at that. Right, man, let's get to work. Follow my orders, explore our surroundings, build this place up, and stay alive. Back. I see that you could use some help around here. If you provide me food, I'll get volunteers and scrap. Okay, I don't think we have food. Oh. Look, scrap. Oh, he's playing the... Oh, look at that. He's playing the guitar. Alright, recruit him. I'm not sure what the shovels are for. you guys work on that. Grab the scrap. Oh. Okay, that's the food. Collect bonus from upgrading the generator. Agitator or shelter network. After laying the first brazier, one tramp will come to the base. An active brazier increases the population cap by one. Ground ignites and some braziers as mutants run away. Um, let's do the shelter network actually. You guys on that. I wonder if that's food. 
the mushrooms. I'm gonna let them collect the scrap real quick. Yeah, that's food. Let's have them build that wall. And then you start getting some scrap from there. Yeah, this is definitely all one-handed, which is really interesting. I, I like that. All right, so it's nighttime, which I believe means... Oh, didn't mean to fire. I believe that means we're going to be running into enemies here soon, because I believe at nighttime it's a uh, base defense. Let's give him the food. What's this? Oh, that turns them back into standard grunts. All right, so it's nighttime, but I don't see any enemies. I'm wondering if I'm not correct about it being nighttime enemies all the time, at least. Oh. What is this? I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait for these guys to finish this. Nice. Day two. Oh, right. The braziers can heal. Commander also catches breath faster after long sprints by resting near them. Okay. Cool, and we got a buddy. So we got four buddies with us now. Let's get him a shovel. Diggers can clear rubble with shovels. Send two diggers to make it work faster, which is what these two guys are doing right now. I'll let them do that. Get the other two clearing that. But yeah, this game literally has no mouse, which is really interesting. You can totally play this one-handed. Now it looks like they're almost done clearing the rubble there. I'm gonna have these two guys start collecting that food. Oh, looks like they're done. Let's have two of them start building that. These two guys to clear that rubble. Ooh. Choose bonus for expanding borders by four walls. Barbed wire or flashbang traps. I think I like the barbed wire. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, it's all purple. What's going on? Hero goes into danger mode for a while if enemies are near or if the hero is injured. In this mode, you cannot interact with objects or assign people to jobs. Oh. Okay, then. We were being attacked. I didn't even realize. Is that what this uh, purple mist is? I'm going to guess that's what that purple mist is. Right, these guys need to hurry up. There we go. Alright, let's see. Alright, these guys can build that. I'm gonna guess you have to make a uh, repairman. Alright guys, this was Until We Die. Thanks for watching. Uh, first impressions of it, I'm loving it. I think this is a really cool... Oh, looks like we're being attacked. Uh, it's a very cool, laid-back game, I feel. So this is going to be a really uh, fun thing to play whenever you have some downtime. Once again, thank you for, or thank you to the developers for the, providing the key. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.